done. Yo guys, no bet winner, no entry. Okay, okay, no bet winner. Sports fans out there, are you ready? It's a beautiful evening and welcome to tonight's game. The lady shows up and she's been denied. Oh, oh no. But wait, she's back with bet winner. Wait. Oh, what a beautiful pass. And it's a This goal. advertisement has been vetted and approved by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Bet responsibly, not for persons below 18 years, and gaming can be addictive. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Elevate GH in partnership with Sammy Flex TV Production comes your way with a great opportunity for new and up and coming artists as well as already established independent artists, record labels, or talent managers. Packages include quality music video shoots and music promotion. We give you clean shots, better video quality, and the opportunity to promote you and your work across the globe. For more details and inquiries, call 0553 049 693 or 050 Three two three six four zero. Elevate GH and Sammy Flex TV production. Everything for the culture. Me did the yam yam touch you ah, and maybe I'm discovering for you. Papa come busy and follow Ghana no. Me used to tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee, mobile money transfer. A ye easy, a ye convenient, a ye fast. And sounds so ye free. Woo, ti a she. Me discover a ye map him. Tap tap send. Internet. Once you download the Tap Tap Send app, no, every mobile phone so free. Let us see how we can move to Ghana for many na. Tap Tap Send. Papa no no. Everybody check now. Check it. Fa check it. Fa check it. Check it. The beat is real. Don't we make it kill ya? Get your green select rocometer and check it. Sugar level, check it, check it. For check it, check it. For check it, for check it, check it, check it. Green select rocometer. For check it, for check it, check it, check it. Put sugar level for check it. For check it, check it, check it. For check it, for check it, check it, check it. Green select rocometer. Everybody check now. This advert has been vetted and approved by the FDA. All right, so this morning, a certain quote caught my attention and I decided to share it with my followers on social media. And it says that if you are dreaming to be a millionaire, if you are dreaming to do some million dollar business, then you don't have to act like someone who is just thinking about maybe a daytime salary or a monthly salary of a sort. You have to make your work ethics proof to that point that really and truly you are aiming to be that guy who will be chopping some million dollars in some few years. So how are you putting in the works? Make sure you put in the works all the time and this will give you that opportunity to get your dream money. My name is Sammy Flex. I welcome you to today's edition of Showbiz Daily here on Sammy Flex TV and I want to believe that you are ready for my people. Everybody is geared up for us to do our thing. You know, Ghana is really jamming because everybody is coming to town. The filmmakers, the presidents, the stars, all over the world, everybody is heading to Ghana. I'm sure the only person who has not been here now is Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah? <laughs> uh, we are waiting for Mark Zuckerberg so that we open another Facebook office here in Sotum, uh, which will be reporting to the American headquarters. That is what we are waiting for. So he will stop blocking people who have been doing commentaries <laughs> and he will do Elon Musk. Yeah, has he not come? No. He has not come to. Uh, but who came? I uh, hear one, one of the tech giants bosses came here some time ago. I think Bill Gates has passed through. Um, uh, was it Bill Gates? The, I remember some name, a name like that also in the tech world. One big name came here some time ago. And then Twitter came for a setup. Oh, I think it was the Twitter, Twitter boss. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think and then they Twitter did boss. that. Uh, the Twitter boss they day. They invited people to come. Yeah, I think the Twitter boss then. I yeah. think the Twitter boss then. Yes, I know he has passed around. So Elon Musk day. Onyama, Muntumu, whatever. 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 I see our strategy going to force you to Twitter. 
and Chabeba. Guys, thank you so much for being a part of the show. My people are seated. Of course, Kobe Josvan, blogger, is seated. He also works with Anointed Electric House here in Ghana, or better still, Accra, or Doc Hall, to be specific. And Roland Amate is also here, event publicist, talent manager. And we are also having man like Intim Dodo Solomon, aka Chamo. Kojo says he should change the Intido to digital <laughs> solutions. Don't yeah. mind that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to digital rust star currency on camera richie flex editor director of the show i believe that we are set how are you doing out there i want to believe that you are also very cool and thanks for always watching our videos here on sami flex tv if you have not subscribed yet please do that now and if you want to send money to ghana you know what to do get the app tap tap send no troubles so you can send money with no stress i believe we are going to have a wonderful conversation remember you're also part of this so share your views share your your analysis share your reviews with us here on the channel as we move on to the issues here and there now america's vice president is still in ghana and it looks like the way ghanaians are holding head down i'm really enjoying it uh, apart from the welcome address at the airport which was met with some mixed reactions because of the podium which according to people were not or which was not accepted by so many people apart from that looks like everything is ongoing well she has been doing some visitations here and there went to a certain studio here in ghana and i believe that they are all part of the tour three-day visit to ghana maybe after today she'll be moving out of town heading to another country where she continues with the african tour three countries and ghana of course one of the best countries in africa so she passed through to say hello to us now yesterday we held a banquet here in accra to welcome her and i knew some artists were selected others were also not selected so this evening i want us to have a conversation that what does it mean to those who were selected and those who were also not selected what are we in our rightful minds thinking will be the marking scheme that will give the opportunity for some people to be called and for some others not to be called what will be the marking scheme at least we know some of them performed i've seen Ethia performed i've seen viala performed i've seen amachi Dede performed and if there are more my producer will be sharing all those videos with that same way but i'm here asking what would qualify one to be called? Because I know we have some top artists in Ghana, and as it stands now, none of them was called. At least Sarkodie is in town, Shatawale is in town, Samini, I'm not too sure if he's in town, Stoneboy, I know he's not in town, and the rest, um, okay. Black Sheriff is also in town. Yeah, let me add him to that squad. Black Sheriff is also in town, but we saw him walking with the woman, but was not called to perform. Or maybe did Black Sheriff perform? I'm not too sure yet. Let's go catch the action from the banquet hall where Kamal Harris was welcomed by our distinguished um, parliamentarians, ministers, and the people in the office of the president. Let's go watch this. I'll be right back. And the Vice President of the United States of America, the right.
anyways, that was what happened at the banquet hall where some of our dignitaries, businessmen, politicians were all gathered at the banquet hall to throw a party for uh, Mrs. Um, Harris and the husband. I believe they are really enjoying town. Um, they are really enjoying town and it feels so good to know that Ghana has welcomed them so beautiful today. Uh, even in the afternoon, I know they were also at the Black Star Square where they also met with some Ghanaians who could not go to their banquet hall. Yeah. And that is also beautiful. And I love the way she was dressed. As a matter of fact, everybody looked good, but uh, Madame, who is our visitor, was looking Looking so extremely good. Ro, what do you think will qualify those who were called? Mm, it is it is now connect. Connect? Yes. Oy. It is connect. It is connected. Uh, the kind of uh, leverage or should I say social capital that you have. These are the things that will merit, will merit this kind of color. The, mm. the truth of the matter is it is not, not because they are the best in town. Oh no. Be, that is also part being good is also part you at least you need to have substance before you can be called to such a table but then mm -hmm. the main focus aside you being competent is the fact that you are also part of of the clique you are also part of the family mm -hmm. so definitely it is not everybody that will be called we have so many rich men in ghana but it's just a few who were there mm -hmm. the likes of despite for risa Paul and his likes were there but we have others who probably due to maybe their schedules or the the fact that they are not part they are not easily reachable mm -hmm. wouldn't be part it is like that for the musicians i think it is about who depending on the organizer's choice and what the vision for the program is okay that is what will inform the kind of musicians that you are going to call to perform okay. so yes you were mentioning sarkodie shatawale stone but that is not to say that their kind of music or their present representation do not merit that particular mm -hmm. event but at this particular time yeah. who can we assess who can do the job for us in this mm -hmm. short period of time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. these are mm -hmm. the people that we can and are they good are they competent for the task yes and i think so far the people that pre uh, performed on the night that is Riala, ifia and abranti amachi dede are a very good representation of the Ghanaian music and okay. because if uh, we are representing the typical Ghanaian traditional sound and much they also giving us that contemporary high life that we've always been boasting about mm -hmm. and the fear definitely is would be among the contemporaries that is the Afrobeat and whatever we may want to call it okay so I think it is a fair representation for attendance I I was very impressed because those are see yes the whole ghana wasn't there literally but mm -hmm. the, the whole ghana was there mm -hmm. we we mm -hmm. had a very good looking at the areas exactly they from exactly from from the dignitaries even mm -hmm. to the media that that mm -hmm. were invited you realize that even our, our bloggers were, were apart included. from the showbiz people who performed were there other showbiz personalities that you saw well that i didn't they see, did not see that i didn't of them. see okay so so but one person that i was actually expecting to see was maybe honorable makoke kumante or mm. something who, mm. who probably represented the credit Art fraternity mm. since i didn't see him i, I maybe uh, maybe i didn't know i'm not sure whether he was there or not i'm here to find okay. out though but I am surprised after now I've not seen him not or seen heard in, in any video exactly okay. or any footage that has popped yeah, up I on the internet. I agree with you. Because mm. yes, this mm. as much as the woman is here for general business bilateral relations, she's also here. Part of it is also into the creative art. Uh, how do we call it sector? Because that is currently that is one of the areas that we are projecting so much. Mm. And even mm. in her just after arriving, she went to I think one the the skate park where yeah. they did a vigil for uh, a yeah. blog mm -hmm. yes that's that particular area where okay. i think one rapper came and shot a video there mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. so so yes is that where they also went for the studio check exactly the skate studio yes or yes something. yes mm -hmm. yes they have where that. is that one it's in accra it's in, a, in uh, jamestown around oh, okay. there okay yeah i think that's that's the okay footage over yeah this i've one. also seen the pictures but i didn't know exactly where mm -hmm that was located yeah so so it's it's in a car around jamestown area so that's that's where they were so mm -hmm. yes i i would love to see the heads of the creative or tourism representation mm -hmm. at such events so i would know that yes we we are having some kind of driver agenda and the okay. heads are involved okay. and not just a call-up 
because mm. like i always say these people some they know us but the understanding of our importance in whatever they are doing is also another matter mm -hmm. it, it shouldn't only be just we need them to come and entertain us whilst we, we are having this particular meeting but rather they are part of the conversation all the people that were invited as far as the creative artists involved could just be for the moment okay. but we need heads who would not just be there for a moment but will continue that how do you call it conversation after our people who were called to come and perform are done mm -hmm. we need the heads mm -hmm. to make sure that conversation stays on okay this is one of our biggest artists and after we believe that whenever we are having this or that a, he or she will be very very important to whatever cause that you are trying to, you are trying to drive okay. or whatever whatever reason that you came Agenda, here yeah. exactly and this definitely uh captain afeko honorable captain afeko will say we'll boost boost tourism, tourism. Mm. <laughs> so mm. so mm. it is it is good so far i am impressed as i uh, to with, with how they've they've handled the whole ceremony how they are taking very good care of the woman so far security which is the topmost priority has been on point and that's okay. that's very good okay Chamo, um have you also seen the performances have you been impressed and the call up call up uh, okay mm. I'll, I'll start uh, from the call up um, okay i think um they, they, they will consider a lot of things but i think mostly they will consider what we normally hear when uh, it comes to or when we are in a polit politicians are having conversations Mm -hmm. or like more like politicians are doing their businesses they don't really go for the partying kind of song or they are they are not in that mood to to do stuff they they want to they want to be seen as serious and discussing serious issues mm -hmm. and at that time they, they won't go for some people that we think deserve to be called yeah mm -hmm. uh, in fact mostly even this one i'm surprised that they called them mostly they will call those who do classic music and the jazz mm -hmm, people mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm, typically mm -hmm. that's what they mm -hmm, do so mm -hmm. even this time for them so to there will just be a carpet band performance performances, and yeah so not an jazz, artist artist no artist artist no the band b and that kind of thing and then producing just sounds for people mm -hmm, to just mm -hmm. sit around and talk and do other stuff so even this one i think they have stretched it and if we stretch it then uh, one part of what Roland said will come true that you need to have the connect. Somebody has to know you to mm -hmm. call you. Yes, but basically you should have a substance for them to call you. Okay. So uh, I will not be surprised for some of the collabs. Somebody like Riala, based on what she does and how she do her trade. But obviously they will call her too because she will be more like the representative of her traditional tradition, music okay. yeah that kind of stuff and okay. then fia will be the modern kind of the music mm, that we mm, do mm, and then mm, amachi mm. the day will be what some people will enjoy even if you are um foreigner if you are here to see we want you to enjoy something that our people here or some politicians here will enjoy, enjoy. that's why they because will of the class of people people who yeah because of the class of mm. people that's why they mm. will call somebody like Amachi Dede. So okay. if Sarkodie, Shatawale, and the likes, are, if they are not calling them, it's, it's, it's because of the, the kind of meeting that they were doing and the kind the class of people who were there. Okay. Because if Shata is there, Sarkodie, or, then we have to be jamming. Like, the mm -hmm. vibe, the energy mm -hmm. should be high. Yeah. But this, uh, I, I don't want to say old people, but these <laughs> old people and the new school who are in, into politics mm -hmm. will not be there jamming to shatter mm -hmm. song and all that. Mm -hmm. They want to sit down or just stand up and be nodding uh, their they, head. They and dance. Like, it's yeah. They, one yard. Yeah. They, they will be doing one yard. One yard, yard yeah, yeah. They won't do that giddy giddy thing that, that shatter that. or sarkode or stone boy will bring. Okay. So the call up, I think that's why they did that, and mm. and it's it's okay because this is also part of us, and this is a uh, part of music that some class of people in Ghana also enjoy. So okay. if they are representing, why not? I I think it's okay. Mm. I see. Uh, do you guys have an idea what they are doing at the Black Star Square? Because the kind of the number of people I've seen there looks like you catch them on from on passport in London. I think it is it is a speech. So she was there to to have a speech with the people. That's so not 
the 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 idea is to speak to the to speak to Ghanaians, like have a direct conversation, conversation with them, but not direct like that. So she was on top of the ark. Oh, okay. that is where she delivered her speech from. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Um, the numbers are huge. Okay, so let's listen to Kobe Josvan as well. Kobe, um, the call up. Are you cool with it? And again, the performances you've seen so far, are you impressed? Sincerely, I think I'm very happy. Mm. But first of all, let me greet our cherished viewers. Mm -hmm. And also take this opportunity to wish you a happy belated birthday. Mm. Thank God you, boss. Thank you so much Amen. for being a blessing to we, the young ones. Amen. 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 And secondly, I can't get it. 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 I can't get Okay, that won't cost you. Same way, if you want the best <laughs> hub for entertainment, yeah. come to Sammy Flex TV. That's Afa. the best. Mm. I think that was a very brilliant move, seeing okay. that. And uh, it, it tells a whole lot of things, and I think we should pay attention to that. At the end the one thing I was very happy and, I mean, impressed about it, seeing some of our business moguls there. Okay. That one is giving us an indication that it is not only about politics. Politics, okay. Like, just going there to, to try to play, I mean, come to uh, form policies, but mm -hmm. you are trying to involve everybody to be part of it. Mm -hmm. And I also say, um, so so long as we want to build the economy, we should equally know that uh, one sector that we should pay attention to is our creative space. Okay. These people mm. are doing very well, and one way for us All right, to show. So let me do this announcement in your shot, uh, despite and his friend and brother. Um, just point. No, yes, not uh, for uh, for and uh, for just point is the one uh, in suit. The, yeah, oh, this, okay. This, this just point. Yeah. Oh, Sion. Yeah. Oh, another rich man. Mm. Wow, <laughs> that's beautiful. Mm. Yeah. I love the way they brought the business people together this time around. Mm. PPP, mm. Public Private Partnership. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. So that that was a very, I mean, I mean impressive one. Mm -hmm. And how the whole thing, the ceremony, the costume that they considered, I mean, the display. That's the GJ president, right? Yeah. Um, the guy in the guy in blue jacket. Um, yeah, uh, this one, this one, this particular one. I think that's the GJA president. I know he has been around sometimes. Yeah. Oh. Okay, go ahead. So everything was they were trying to sell Ghana, and I think they are doing it in a very nice way. Yeah, that's okay. In general. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. yeah. Mm. We mm. should consider the agenda not to try and look at the setbacks. Okay. But we should build upon it and mm. sell the brand the mm. name the name ghana should be the focus okay. we shouldn't create loopholes somewhere trying to i mean paint the bigger picture black but all being the same let's project ghana and i think that will mm. be a very so, so far with everything the woman has come to do um what has been good and bad for you with everything they have come in here put together what has been the highlight and the low light i think the you? good the good is um, we're considering the economic factors. Mm -hmm. of, of course, we are struggling. And mm -hmm. We are hoping to have a consensus with these people mm -hmm. to leverage on certain things that we can build upon. Okay. The other side that I'm more or less okay is about the LGBTQ issues. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. <laughs> in her speech, mm -hmm. she was like, um, I'm here for equality, mm -hmm. human rights equality. Mm -hmm. And we all know that. So when you are for coming that, from that yeah. direction, mm -hmm. we know where you are heading to. Mm -hmm. So, in as much as they are, <laughs> yeah, in as much yeah. as they are aimed to, I mean, help us build our economy okay. and project Ghana well, mm -hmm. we should also not, I mean, create that loose guard there mm -hmm. for for us to, I mean, accept that offer. Because young as a young gin to be a man. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So that's we should not say what no, no to that one. Okay. But the exception of that, I think we are seeing good things. And but, but people are still doing it, whether I say no or yes. Mm. That one, they, they are doing it behind the scene. But when you want to accept it openly, that mm -hmm. everybody at all can do it, that one, I'm, I'm sure the harm will be more or less more as compared Greater, to the, yeah. the, the, the well, good impact. Do, Vizika, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, lo I, lo I, lo I love, I love, I love, that though. I love that. Um, Kobe, Kobe is protecting his, his, his innocence. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, we just man is protecting his head. Said, oh, then she said, no, no, but the money they make we take. <laughs> okay, no problem. We leverage on the money and protect our inners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, pampers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, there is something I want us to do as well. And um, I think ever since we came back from Kumase on this platform, we've not discussed what Shatawale did for um, Dr. Laiki in Kumase. We brought the live report from Kumase, thanks to Roland Abate and um, the guitar Rasta Currency, who also did some interviews from that report. And of course, I realized that you guys loved it. I was checking the number of times you guys watched it and the how long you guys watched it. It was so obvious that, yeah, you guys appreciate that content but we have not discussed celebrities doing business together and I want us to see today to do that before it is late so Richie take us to Kumasi if there is something you want us to see then when we come back ask my people what they think about it so these are some photos from Kumasi or Sacrum to be specific and um, this the, the building you see behind is the office that is a yet to be opened office of Shagzi in Kumasi, located at Ahonjo in Osaikrum. Ahonjo what? Daban. Daban, okay. Ahonjo Daban in Osaikrum, aka Las Vegas. And uh, on the day, we saw a man like Dr. Laiki, who now prefers to be called Dr. Shagzi, came with his entourage. I hear they were even on set shooting before they came there. They received the car with so much joy, so much excitement. And I'm asking, is it time for celebrities to do business among themselves? Let's go catch this video if there is any. And um, no, no video to watch, huh? Okay. Um, Richie says we have to do the commentary on the videos and photos so far so we can watch it. Okay, so, um, Kobe, because you're on the mic, let me still continue with you. As in the fact that celebrities are now doing business among themselves because we know that the business is owned by Shatawale. He did not become the ambassador himself, but he's seen the need to employ someone as the ambassador. I think these are some of the things that we love to see. Mm hmm Shatter is a very smart business partner. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Likey, too, we know how he's able to swim his way through. Mm -hmm. Especially this week, he has been able to back to Ambassador Yadius. And that's a very kudos for him. Okay. When I see things like this, I'm happy. Because mm -hmm. I always project, let's support Ghana. Okay. And we shouldn't be like, oh, it is not mine. So because of that, I shouldn't support. Or mm -hmm. I don't belong to this camp. So because of that reason, I shouldn't support. Mm -hmm. Let us all have, a, I mean, one call to push it. When it's become better, it is Ghana. Yeah. And we should also know, it's a new business. Rome mm -hmm. wasn't built in a day. Mm -hmm. I heard people trying to make comparisons with other ones doing better. Okay. They started like this, and mm -hmm. gradually they got there. Mm -hmm. Adiba Akunso Mihunya was very impressive was, when Likey was coming, mm -hmm. he came with a whole family. Mm -hmm. We saw the likes of... Um, the his crew yeah um, i mean shifu. Shifu, shifu and the likes uh, and I'm a there was one uh one old uh kuma oh boy um, they call him boy yes why you see why you see and you can see the excitement and the joy mm -hmm. yeah. watching the video clearly and carefully mm -hmm. you can see so everybody is happy for the guy mm. Mm. We, it is our win, so let mm. us all win together. Okay. So I will encur uh, encourage Ghanaians that we should all adopt that culture mm -hmm. and support each other. That's mm. the only way that we can win. Yeah. Okay. Already we are competing with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So when mm -hmm. we come together and we support ourselves, gradually mm -hmm. we get there. Mm. Let's support Shazi, let's push it. It's time to write, let's patronize it. Okay, Chabu, yeah. what, what do you yeah. also have to say about that gesture? Very positive. I mean, you can't get it better than this. I mean, this this was cool. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, apart from the kind gesture that you see, it's also telling the uh, celebrities or the entertainers that mm -hmm. uh, it's not just about the things that you do directly. Then sometimes you have to associate with other things to make more money or okay. to have a better life. Mm. Because if mm. you just stay in the things that you do and you flop there or there will be a time that the spotlight will not be on you so you can't make money as you used to you, exactly. you have to fall on other things exactly. so if you are not having any plans to 
jump on other things or do other investment that will bring you money, you are mm -hmm. in trouble. Mm -hmm. And these two people, Shatawale and uh, Dr. Like or Akabeniza, they okay. are really representing that thing. They are really telling people based on the activities happening that, hey, you need to do more than just your talent and, and just getting money from it. So okay. it's, it's good. And the idea that they are also they have connection some way somehow to uh, promote businesses and all that is also a good thing move. that yeah okay. it's a good move that we have to learn from and Shatawale also recognizing that uh Akabeneza or dr, dr. Likey is is good at what he does and he thinks that he can promote the business is also positive i mean we should not just look at it from the angle that it's Akabeneza and Shatawali wants to gift him. No, it's also business. Akabeneza is equally competent to promote Shazi. Mm -hmm. Apart from the fact that they are friends or they, are, they have connections, he is competent enough to do the job. That's yeah. why we are giving it to him. Yeah. So don't go out there or later don't say that he's my friend, but he's not, also doing, he's not doing that thing for me and all that. No. Okay. It's not just about the friendship. Yeah. It's also about competence. I think I, think I, I like this Yes. Point. Because, because there, there people, are some celebrity friends of his who yeah. are likely to be uh, <laughs> offended by, by this gesture. Yes. Think that, ah, child, my middle in You know, and, call me self. And you call a cabinet and all that. Yeah. So it's not just about the friendship. It's also about competence. A cabinet, he has done something that deserves this. Mm -hmm. In fact, he was even promoting uh, Shagzi when he had no connect, direct connection with it. He, he was in a, uh, some of his kids talking about Shagzi and all that. Mm -hmm. So he has worked for it, apart from the fact that they are friends. Why mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. they a man? In two things, they are funny. Or they are trying to because of your friends are now on any case. I know a cabinet is also working. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's good and it's good to appreciate people that you think they are doing something good and in a way you can work with them to do business. Okay. So Shatawale has done well and a cabinet too. I think the acceptance was good. Mm -hmm. he, he mobilized his people, they came mm -hmm. there very mm -hmm. nice and Everything went well, so kudos to them and even the crew around. I mean, uh, Flex Entertainment team mm, too mm, were there, mm, and, and mm. me, they exactly. didn't disappoint. Uh, everything mm. went well, so kudos to everybody who who, who were part of it. Yeah, solid. Yes, um, Roland, you were there, so I'm sure you can throw more light Personally, on activities there. Co congratulations to Shatawale and congratulations to Dr. Laiki. Mm -hmm. Thanks, uh, both of them have proven they they they've made a statement to other people in, in not only in the creative art sector but generally that partnership is one thing that can get us going for for you to be big like Chemo would always say you need to interact with so many people mm -hmm. whether now we are doing it online still the physical interaction is still important mm -hmm. and it is not just about interacting with people but people who would also whose interaction will benefit whatever cause that you are trying to drive Okay. And that is it. That is why it is not com it is not every company that we would love to associate with just anybody. Mm -hmm. The earlier we prove this particular point that doing things in that I believe has been one of the reasons why mostly some people in other sector don't take us serious. Because most of our things are just done on the normal surface and not approached in a business line. Mm -hmm. Because yes, they would want to come and employ us as brand ambassadors, as promoters to publicize their products. But how do we do this to ourselves? Mm -hmm. If we are able to do mm -hmm. it among us, that is a strong proof for them to, to know that whenever they call on us, we are we always deliver. competent to deliver. And that's the message they are sending out. So if tomorrow, if today Shatawali has a, a riding a service and decides to employ a cabinet as the brand ambassador, Tomorrow, somebody can own a clothing line and say, Sami Flex is my brand mm. ambassador. Tomorrow, mm. somebody mm. might probably own So they don't brand. necessarily have to be their own. No. Yeah. No. Yes, as much as you are but, the but face we, of we it. Have, we have not been seeing that often. Uh, oftentimes, those who do it as celebrities, you see them as everything. It is, it is one of the reasons why other people in different sectors, especially the, creative, uh, the corporate world, don't see us 
in that particular sense because they always see that okay when I work creative business you see yourself as one I'll be to me I'll be a meanwhile a serious business entity don't operate like that mm -hmm. they don't operate like that they always look for alternate promoters or marketing personnel to help boost that what particular vision they have okay so if indeed you call yourself a serious business entity you know you you definitely should understand that you can't do it alone mm -hmm. you need the services or the strength of other people and if they come here to get those people now oh, oh, Hasiya, you want to tell them you can't get your own colleagues to help promote whatever business that you're doing mm -hmm. then it is an mm -hmm. error clearly mm -hmm. you guys don't know what you're about mm -hmm. or you don't know the value you hold so if shatawale now has seen the value in akabeneza it is just a strong statement and akabeneza also seeing a brother's business as equally good that he can promote without losing anything or even growing for him to also benefit more then we can equally do that among ourselves in the space mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that okay and yet the biana akabeneza maybe support shatawali because it is he's a musician and not always in a music line and yet biana akabeneza the moment i went to akabeneza about shatawali no no tomorrow another person can you own jimmy Dell. somebody can say oh the the only time and yet be able to TV. Mm. What are the other companies that he also has? Mm. How can we also pro help promote those companies? And mm. that is how we grow. Mm. And yes, we be always when you hear them for call for support and I support you and support you. It is always with what they do directly. <laughs> I see. And even with that, in the crowd, how transparent are they in in that business conversation? So this is a very huge statement to other creative people. And also people outside our creative sector that yes we are equally competent as much as we we can employ ourselves to to uh, how do you call it promote and grow our businesses we are equally competent to also hold your business and also promote for you because shatawali in the space has seen the need and we want the importance of it to employ a cabinizer mm. how much more a brand like techno how much more a brand like Vena? how much more a brand like other entities who can also come in that same space and do it so mm. it is beautiful and it's mm. a good statement mm. well so we wish the business well and other people who would also want to do same we pray that the business succeed so at least in every region shatawale can pick one celebrity from there so the business becomes the celebrity kind of business here in ghana and that will be so beautiful like every region shatawale picks one celebrity from there as the brand ambassador for shagzi that will be so beautiful now i've seen a post from a gentleman and it was shared by Kwame Dazi. And seeing it, I feel like, okay, is a guy trying to make a point or maybe it is pointless? Richie, you can drop the post on the uh, screen and let me see if there is really a point there or maybe it's pointless. Pointless. <laughs> <laughs> so Kwame Dazi shared the post from yes. I Am Beat Menis. He's yes. actually a beat producer. Yes. And um, he says, Audio engineer Beat Menace thinks it is not right for musicians to mention their names in their songs. And Kwame, Yuji, uh, Kwame Dazi added that Kwame Eugene won't be happy with this. Cry. Now, what did the producer say? Let me read it to you. He wrote that, or he tweeted that, on popular opinion, but it has got to be said, please stop singing or spelling your name on every fucking song. Damn, you all spell, sing, rap your name on every damn song. Let the music speak for you. Develop your styles so your insignia is undeniably the record. Period. Unpopular opinion, but it's got to be said. Stop singing or spelling your name on every fucking song. Damn, you all spell, sing, Wrap your name on every damn song. Let the music speak for you. Develop your styles so your insignia is undeniably the record. Period. Mm. Ro, uh -huh. you're on the mic. So let's go. Uh -huh. Beat Menace. This is what he's saying. That's an is he making a point or it is pointless? I saw the post too. Mm -hmm. this, is the, this is just one of them things. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I said. Yes. Um, he he has a point, but the point can only remain in his and head. And what is the point? Can only remain in his head. Okay. 
Okay, so maybe Chemo has asked a, qu a question. Like, mm -hmm. what, the, what he's saying is that, mm -hmm. uh -huh, what he's saying is that, as musicians, mm -hmm. when you are singing, stop doing Shatawale, stop doing Obede, number one. And stop doing S A R K O I D S, Sakodie, Obede. <laughs> stop doing, they call me Eugene. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So, if you stop, so what? Or if you don't stop, what is it like? Why is he have an issue oh, with Chemo, it. he did not get it. He's saying that... He didn't give any reason. No, no, he gave the reason. He's saying that uh -huh. let your work uh -huh. do it in the sense that the moment uh -huh. we hear your song, you don't have to introduce yourself on it before we know that it is your song. Okay. So, do it in a so, way that the moment we hear so, your song, so we he, know, oh, this is... So he assumes that uh -huh. they mention their names because they want people to know that this is our this Yes, is that song. is what he thinks. Okay, so okay. That, that is what I'm saying. His, he, he has a point, but the point can only remain in his head because mm -hmm. he, he's, this point is actually subjective. It is more or less like a feeling. Mm -hmm. And that's it. When you bring it, when you make it practical, it, it will not hold. In fact, you have more examples to combat that feeling. And yes, it will just be, it, it is just like recently I was thinking about the fact that, okay, was it good or bad for our old producers not to have mentioned their songs or have signatures in their songs. Mm -hmm. Because lately, you hear songs from Zab Malet, mm -hmm. the late Really Roy, mm -hmm. and all them huge, huge productions. And you don't even know. And you don't even know. You can't mm -hmm. even differentiate which one, which is which. Mm -hmm. So I ask myself, okay, was it good? Was it bad? Because sometimes they themselves forget even some of the things that they produce. Mm -hmm. they, the songs will be playing here and you realize, ah, Mm. It has happened to with the late Willie Roy so many times. Okay. You play songs and you realize that sometimes even credits and car is even a problem. Mm -hmm. That he, he has to come and mention it. So now that he's not there, if there's no proper crediting to whatever works that he's done, how do we identify it? And now, the new ways of marketing yourself without you being there, aside somebody just going to deep into research to find information about you mm -hmm. these are some of the easiest ways you can do it okay and the only way you can say it is not good is if whatever way they did it by mentioning their name doesn't sync with the, the song or the style mm -hmm. if it doesn't then you have every right to that gives your that feeling that mm, I did, I did, I did. That gives it more substance. But if she comes to mention E F Y A and it sings with, with the, the song, if it's part of the song, it is part of the song. It is very instrumental in the song. That the moment you start the song, you hear even the people. You won't even hear it singing it. Then the, the job is done. Mm -hmm. And in another example, another mm -hmm. instance is also that in a space where people are, we are dealing with sound. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is not everybody that is so technical that can differentiate Sammy Flex's voice from Kobe's voice. Mm -hmm. There are some people whose voice texture are so identical. We have so many examples. Sammy Nisonibai, Screwface. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have, um, there, there are so many, so many of them. If you want to stress this conversation, there are mm -hmm. so many. At the point, there are people who are even struggling to identify between Mr. Drew and um, um, the, his partner, what is it called? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Even it happened to even Kevin Boy and Whiskey. Mm. You hear Kevin Boy sing and you think it is Whiskey. Mm. It is like that. So if at that particular point the person doesn't mention his name, and maybe during that playlist it is just do one of them DJs playing without entering deep into who he, whose song is this, like the normal radio. I am a boy. They introduce the person, mention who whoever the composer or the musician is before they play. If it is just one of them, playlist, fast playlist in Bine and Bonnie and Bonnie and Bonnie. How does the person who at that particular moment, how does he identify who played the song? So I believe that, yes, it is one of them feelings. But now, if you easily want to market yourself, sometimes it is advisable you do that. And how well you do it will even seal the case for you. Mm. So yes, I, I know he, he has a point that some, some of them are not nice. Mm -hmm. And it is a feeling in Wopel Utrim, only you, you are the only person feeling it. But otherwise, if you want to stress this conversation as to, you see, 
sometimes you hear sister fear and a fear not tenors. Even with the name crime, sometimes mm -hmm. you have a problem. Mm. You say, oh, who who played this? If you are, if you are being, and if you are not tenor will come. E F Y A. Sister fear also come. Sister fear. That is how you identify. But if they all come and say if you are, if you are. So 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 the guy's point is that without them mentioning their names. Mm you are confirming that we're going to struggle to identify them that is that it's is, one if, of the benefits it is one of the if benefits you, if uh, they you see the, the in a space where my song is equally as good as chemu mm -hmm. the only way i can differentiate myself from chemu is if i mention my name mm -hmm. and the person is able to grab it instantly without going into details to go and check mm -hmm. because mind you it is not everybody that will have that luxury to go and to hear a song and say, oh, I love this song. Let me go and check who sang it. It is not everybody. And at a point, at this particular time, where it is not everybody that is technical, people, most people have difficulties in differentiating voices. Mm -hmm. That is the only way we can solve this problem. So that when I hear Kelvin Boy's song playing, I don't attribute it to another artist because he's mentioned his name in there. Mm -hmm. So when I hear Mr. Easy, play or sing or uh, creamy sings i don't mistake it for another person it is like that instantly not deep research results we are talking about okay Chabu, you can continue from there yeah so uh, the only way it will not be pointless what he said is when he can he will be specific and say that okay uh, a, a singer did it and it doesn't sound nice or it's not good or something like that that's the only time that what he he did will make sense but if he generalize it and say that stop using your names in your song because uh, let the song speak for you is pointless the fact is some of them the names are part of the song so mm -hmm. if they take it out it's no more the song that you enjoy anymore mm -hmm. it will be something else because <laughs> It's part of the song, but it's her name. Mm -hmm. And the style has just changed many years ago. One thing I love about the, our musicians, mm -hmm. uh, the old folks, okay. is when they are so precise giving a uh, uh, shout, shout out to their, their friends in songs okay. or, uh, or the people who have help them in uh, doing their songs. Mm -hmm. From Amachi the Day to Daddy Lumba, and mm. a, a, in fact, a lot mm. of it. I think Daddy Lumba just said the story of Teresa Abebrese. Teresa Abebrese, mm. and then the Ghana Video City guy. Alan Jima. Coco Mremre. Like, they had their way of doing it. For them, it was about those who helped them producing the music, did the music. And now it's about your style and how you want people to identify you. And I, I know, like, going forward, something else will come up. And this thing will, will, will not be fashionable anymore. Okay. Even if you do it, people will win a day. Because it's part of the song. It's part of the style. It's part of what is happening right now. So there's no need for him to uh, have issues with it, especially if he's not specific. He can say that Kwame Eugene did this in this song and I think it was wrong for him to put his name in or okay. it was wrong. For, like, be specific. Because whatever Kwame Eugene has said, uh, if you call me Eugene, it sounds nice in the song. So why do you want him to take it out? It's part of the song. So I, I think, yeah, maybe he heard a song and the way the person infuse the name or whatever mention the name and, yeah. and, uh, and, the, well, yeah. uh -huh. and he's using that to generalize all those who are doing that so i i think he's wrong he should come again but i will agree with him if he mentioned specific song for us to analyze that song that uh, oh yeah yeah this one you are right there's no need for you to put this thing here or something then we, we, we will have a conversation. But mm -hmm. as it stands now, I think those who have done it, they have done it so well that it should be there. If you take them out, the song will not be nice anymore. So, so me, I, I disagree with him. You, 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 know, okay. you know, once up, you know, recently there were some old musicians who detested uh, 
producers putting their signatures in, in, yeah. in their in songs. songs mm. yeah. it, is, it is almost like that. Yeah. Some people think to them it is not nice. Yes. And it's a subjective, an individual choice. So if you want it, you can put it. That is if you listen to it and it is not nice. nice. But lately, some of them have come to terms with it. It's so bad. Ah, you know, you know, you know, you know. Okay, come just man. Um, <laughs> let me also get your opinion yeah, on uh, Beat Menace Point. I have two, I mean, points to talk about. Okay. One, I think his argument is baseless. Hey. Two, I mm -hmm. think he's speaking out of stress. No longer. He's speaking out of stress. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sometimes when, when you're going through certain things, if you don't take care, you say things that later on and you're with it. Mm -hmm. Now he's saying say, they shouldn't put their names on their songs. Mm -hmm. The question is, then he, he as a, um, a, producer. a producer, should he also put his signature on someone's song? Because we listen to, I mean, people's song and the producers too have their jingle on it. Mm. Just, that means, cool. Yeah, for identification. Well, yeah. we don't know his position on that. that yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, Maybe as much as he's talking to, yeah. about this, he's he would also not like, like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just that we are also trying to let him know, so he should come clear. Mm -hmm. Provide facts yeah. with evidence and scenarios. Mm -hmm. And these and these, that's why I'm saying that. So that we can equally understand it well. Mm -hmm. okay. I think I listened to a tune um, that, that was Akon and Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. And you can... E you can't even differentiate between who is yeah Nicole, yeah who is that one, song like, yeah oh, what is the name mm. of that song old man yeah. so old imagine. man yeah. <laughs> yeah i know that song yeah, yeah. Old so man. imagine a song like this mm. and there's there's nothing like a signature from the side of akon and the other side and mm -hmm. yeah you will find it very difficult but did they do that in there did no. they mention their names in there no okay. and it took that, that, so, that's so, so this is the guy's case. Yes. The, unless you are you. Acorn, yeah, I think the Acorn Acorn is Acorn. Acorn. Yes, 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 music. Yes, yes. No, no Convict Music is his label. He, yeah, that was his, uh, that, that that's was his name, the way to identify. I am the one coming from yeah. this side. Imagine there wasn't anything. But did Michael Jackson also mention his name? At least one person mentioned his name. No, but when you hear, we the best. No, there wasn't we the best in there. No, when you hear, we the best, what comes to mind? DJ uh, can yeah. no don't run away. We have a case. You have a case at point. Let's, <laughs> let's handle the case at point. So just as mm -hmm. I'm saying, he should come well and explain himself. Mm -hmm. This idea, a very something is there. And more or less to as part of branding, mm -hmm. brand identity. Your name mm -hmm. is your identity. Mm -hmm. There's been so many occasions that there are some music. I can I can use this patapa one corner. Mm -hmm. It took some time before we realized it was patapa behind the one corner hit. Mm -hmm. So imagine. Um, um, he mentioned his name mm -hmm. in the song. Mm. I mean, he's going to sell the brand as a personality and the song as a, a project on its own. Okay. So when there's nothing as such, we find it difficult. And as I said in song, when you're an upcoming artist, these are some of the things that help you out. Okay. We listen, we don't know the person behind it. Mm -hmm. But with such rhythms and that kind of signature and that kind of slogans, we will have a okay home. For instance, when you hear Pam Papa, you know it's coming from Shatawali. Mm -hmm. When you hear a certain words like rock, uh, rock star, we know it's coming from Kwame Union. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that create an easy impression about the person on this jam. Okay. And this are bad and the So you should come again, create, I mean, provide some facts, yeah. reasons to his arguments. And this are bad yeah. I'm just saying it again. It's baseless. And it's so so, so, so let, let's look at it from the other side. If you decide not to mention your name in there, what will also happen? Nothing. Oh, brass, I'm uh, so, mm, so, uh, so, so you, you can go for it. Uh -huh. See, there are some music people have. These signatures, they come in line. Mm. It's still to whatever that you are, you are talking no, about. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they, they won't mention their name direct, like ABR or Kobe Josephine, that there will be something. Shata wouldn't be like Shata Wali, but uh -huh. immediately you hear pam, pam, pam. Over there, huh? You mm -hmm. see, rock star. So mm -hmm. even when the Kwame Eugene is not coming, we know that these are some of the things that will make the fans know that it is coming from this camp. Mm -hmm. and, and as some person by can decide here, then producers too should stop putting their signatures on records. Mm -hmm. For that one, they are free to do. I don't know. 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 I don
but wale 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 ni wa e be ta wale wale ni wo be ta ni ada wale so man dwem so so eh say eh part of the song but the chatter machine is name on beyonce song no ana the 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 lion king I don't remember. Already, already no. They no. already, they already saw. No, no, no I'm, not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He, then he did definitely that. the name mentioning is but not part. And he did not do part part two. Oh, part two. Mm -hmm. It's not part of the uh, so it's, it's so, 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 so this is a beautiful example you are making. Yeah. 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 To support to support what the guy is No, saying. no. no. On that same record, on that same record, mm -hmm. you know Shatawali and some other guy was featured. Mm -hmm. But can you identify that that guy's uh, how do you call it? Um, laser, mm -hmm. Major Laser. Mm -hmm. Major Laser. Can you identify his part in the song? No. no. But no, did Major Laser sing? Yeah. I remember who no, you were. Oh, Osh. Osh was not Shatawali. That was Major Lizard's contribution had to the song. Had to okay. ah, yes. So if he had mentioned his name, wouldn't you think that people would now? If you don't men, if you don't. Major Lizard was the producer. The, the producer. Uh, but he's still part of. He's part of the featuring. And even at some uh, point, he is part of it. But I'm not sure if he. Uh, I'm not sure he sang. No, but either yeah. way. I'm not sure. He no, okay, sang. assuming he didn't even sing, he didn't even sing. Eh? If he had mentioned his name, or there was any form of mentioning of his name on the song mm -hmm. i know definitely now people have difficulty in even knowing that major laser was part of that particular record mm -hmm. yeah, if yeah, they don't fact, see yeah. it on record like they don't see it in writing it is difficult for people to know major laser was on that particular record mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. uh -huh. so this the, even defeats his point as much as it is partly good for his his point to build up his point and say okay and uh, since Shatawale and Boni, you know, and they not take anything away from the song. Mm -hmm. That same way, if you should, if you should put Major Laser's side to the story, you realize that it did not also do Major Laser mm -hmm. a good. A, a good, a good I think me, even for me, I think it's about the personality and how they do their things, and sometimes it's also about the trends. I mean. Uh, Mm -hmm. who, who at the point who say that you can do a song and mention your record label's name yeah. in there like the way uh, Ali, Akon it's, it's has been sung by the major laser oh no i'm not too uh, shatter and uh, so because yeah, so, I, I remember shatter even said they loved even that part more when they mm -hmm. heard it there oh okay. it okay. wasn't major okay. laser. major laser was the producer okay so that, thank yeah. you but he's part of the feature Yes, yes, because of his pro his uh, contribution as the producer, that's why he was mentioned uh, there. No, but I I mean, mm -hmm. you know, a, a credit can be given to a producer for producing a song. Mm -hmm. That is different from me saying you've been featured on the song. Mm -hmm. It means mm -hmm. he did more than yes, yeah, he did, he more, did than, yeah. more than production. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So since he's been featured on the song, mm -hmm. how can you identify major la major lasers part of that particular record? Mm. Because mm. he didn't mention his name, mm -hmm. you won't even know. Even if he came to say "eh" in the song, you won't even know. That is it. Well, well. So let, let's also raise the conversation to international standards. Mm -hmm. um, do we see or do we hear this often with sounds from the West? Well, some of them, some not of them, all of them. Not all. And uh -huh. Akon is a typical example. Mm -hmm. You hear convict music mm -hmm. eh, right. before you mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. sing. Mm -hmm. And then uh, DJ Khaled, you, he, you yeah, he will not even but say DJ Khaled, but his position demands uh, he does that because he's like he's not a singer, a singer on the song. He's more or less like an announcer of uh, the song. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. But the point is, he, 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 he does something like he will put in something before the song will roll. Or okay, so, 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 so me, me, I still oh. think that, I still think that. We can still cut him some slack in the sense that yeah. if you pay attention to most of the major songs from the West, yeah. it's not easy for you to hear the artist mention. No, it is not. It, some people it do it. taking time for uh -huh. them some, to get there. Some yes. people do it, mm. but it is not common. No, Maybe not let, at me, all. let me use that. Word. Not at all. In fact, it's uh -huh. even new. Exactly. Not from the so oldest. Exactly. Exactly. The only explanation I can give to it is that they didn't see the importance of confusing that right. in the song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Because I believe if DJ Khaled had done the first time he did, DJ Khaled wasn't good for his style or on mm. the record, mm. he wouldn't have repeated mm. it. Mm. It's as simple as that. 
So okay. if you continue to do it, then it means that it is working for you. In fact, it's a, that's why I say it's, it's a trendy thing. And at some point, it will not even be nice for you to do it. Mm -hmm. Like the way our old musicians were mentioning those who helped them in their songs, giving them shout out and giving precise address. That's what I love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> House but, number two, two. Oh no, But now it's not fashionable to do that in songs. Okay. Even this time around, if 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 you do that, you just mention the person's name and then we will struggle to know whether it's some flex that we know or the imitating uh, imitation some flex somewhere okay. we, uh, yes that's okay. why that is, this is the way they do it now but some time ago they will mention the person's name and where he lives and other thing for you to uh, look at this one Kennedy japan mm -hmm. to differentiate him from the Kennedy japan asin guy yeah, that we know yeah, yeah. it was so clear mm. Kennedy mm. japan like Kwoni ba, that that Kwoni ba is differentiating him from the, the politician Kennedy Japan. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I get it. So uh, I mean, it is done. Just that the where I will cut him some slack is when he gives a specific example and why he thinks it is wrong to put it in there. Okay. That we can talk. But if you generalize it, no, I, I will disagree. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead uh, to do the very last topic and. I'm also interested in this. Uh, so earlier today, there was an interview on Hits FM 103.9, that is um, Daybreak Hits with Andy Dusty, and the interview featured Nigeria's comedian uh, Basket Mouth. And in the interview, Basket Mouth said something on the show that he placed a call to Shatawale for a feature. And when he placed the call to Shatawale, it did not take long for Shatawale. Within some few hours, he said Shatta, um, okay, Shatta agreed that it should be yes, for a feature, Shatta agreed, send a song to me. And within some few hours, Shatta recorded his song or his version of the song and sent it back to um, Basket Mouth. Now, Basket Mouth said the surprise factor was when, after Shatta sent the song to him, called him and said, Oh, I've even given this song for a free. I, you don't need to pay me anything or any split, blah, 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 to me for me to uh, just maybe get some points from there. Take everything. I give everything to you. Take it for free and all that and add it to your album. And this morning, he mentioned it on radio, talking about his excitement about that thing Shatawale did for him. Then I'm asking that when it happens like this, first of all, does it mean Shatawale ignored the business side of the feature with Basket Mouth? What do you think are some of the benefits for him? Reason he will ignore feeling any form or demanding for any money for this to be done. And again, is it because it was basket mouth? That's why it was done hurriedly. Because we know when it comes to feature with our top stars here in Ghana, we know the fight. If you've forgotten, I can just push you back a little bit. Rewind it back, 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 back among themselves. Some mini circle there. If among themselves, it is hard. But the way uh, basket mouth is narrating the story, it came like it was so easy for him and he himself was even surprised. Like the devil shocks you and you are surprised at the devil's <laughs> activities. <laughs> Come uh, if you're on the mic, then let's continue from there. Let's continue from there as to the questions I've asked. So it happened this morning on Hit FM, and the question is one, why will this be so easy for Basket Mouth to get like that quick, 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 quick for him to get? And again, Shatawale saying he doesn't want any payment from him. Does it mean he did not consider business? What do we see here? Yeah, first of all, it's a good guess. Mm -hmm. And I'm not surprised seeing that thing from Shatta. Okay. And I'm not sure uh, Basket Mouth is the first person to have benefited from this act. Okay. I'm sure Shatta have been doing that behind the scenes. But just that people do want to, I mean, give his love. Mm -hmm. I'm sure some people have equally done that. Okay. Man is always at studio and sometimes it depends on the combo, like the, the vibe. Someone mm -hmm. can send you a project mm -hmm. and depending on the vibe that you find yourself in, mm -hmm. you, can detail, you can decide, oh, let, let me do it today or let me just push it to another time. Okay. Sometimes you can be in, in the, that mood that the very moment the ten rock, you be like, oh, let me just pour my all on it. And one thing that we should equally consider is that everybody needs help. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs support. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily mean that Shatter doing this is in need of that same support today. Okay. But 
he's looking up to a longer term that's the future mm -hmm. i might need something from a brother nigeria friend mm -hmm. not necessarily from basket map okay but because of some good that i did to someone mm -hmm. can equally pay off mm -hmm. so it is mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. and i love it when it is coming from someone like basket map many have different perception about shat mm -hmm. because the very moment you mentioned shat about shat again i remember when even when dr like he was like Shata was one of the people behind him supporting him. The 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 presenter was like, "Yeah, Shata na yini mno." So uh, we've painted a certain people black to the extent that we a lot of people have it in picture that they don't even do good. Mm -hmm. They don't have clean heart. Mm -hmm. Whatever that you know is just come hard on people mm -hmm. and just giving it to them. But I'm sure Shata behind the scenes has been doing a lot of. I mean. Uh, I mean, um, corporate mm -hmm. uh, social responsibility, yes, yeah. things like that, CSR, yeah. and uh, not all the time that you put camera on, mm -hmm. on it. Even mm -hmm. after watching the video, mm -hmm. you can, I mean, clearly see it from our very own mm -hmm. uh, uh, big man. Uh -huh. You see, oh, is it? I say, I need David. Hey, I said, I can't even deny it. No, you can't. I said, I need the same. I said, oh, brother, I mean, Obi-Wan, you see, action speaks more than words. Yeah. I can, I can add something from you. Mm -hmm. You might be like, oh, I'm not giving it to you, mm -hmm. or you'll be like, I'll give it to you. Mm -hmm. But the gestures and the actions can communicate to me that oh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can, from the look of things, how I I, I, I personally observe it, mm -hmm. it's like Andy is having an issue with the man, okay. and I'm sure we, we are all aware of that issue. Yeah. But what I will also use this platform to say is that sometimes you shouldn't hold emotions too much, mm -hmm. and issues like this too. I don't want to go into too much because behind the scenes there are a lot of things that happen. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. personally, I'm aware. Yeah. But I think it's a positive thing. And we love to see this from, I mean, the likes of basket map and other people. Like so how are you expecting Andy to have behaved or reacted? Oh, there, there, there have been countless occasions when I've watched his interview. Mm -hmm. Is it? I mean, currently, no longer will come. Mm -hmm. Anytime they mention the name, even when someone is granting an interview, it's like he doesn't want that name shut out to, I mean, to, to pop okay. up when the okay. name comes in they just want to find a way and brush it out mm. and i know yeah. that that can be as a result of some kind of misunderstanding yeah. or something yeah. that the other party i did think the attack the attack are they happening yes. yeah the attack so are they happening i'm not surprised seeing not a bad observation I mean, mm. and people should also stop judging a book by its cover mm -hmm. we feed on so many things on social media to the extent that why? Because a certain man says a certain guy is like this. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. try and, I mean, get closer to people, get the picture well, mm -hmm. and narrate the good Before side of them. them. And irrespective of it, no one is 100% good. That's no true. one is 100%, I mean, right or mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. There have been some other side that you like. There have been some other differences that you like. Mm -hmm. Let's think about the the good ones that will impact more mm -hmm. on us than mm -hmm. the negative stuff. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, you put here in your own same way, guy. That's nah, true. Shut up, man. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very positive. Well, Chapu, um, you yeah. can also answer the questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. This uh, this is good. I mean, but um, I'm not so surprised, and there will be other people who will not also be happy with Shatawali because at the time they also. Uh, requested for something like this no, no. and they didn't <laughs> get it <laughs> yeah so yeah some people will also not be happy but such is the world like that's the kind of world that we live in mm -hmm. even a uh, basket mouth it may be at the time that he requested for uh, that thing shatter was in his element he he was in a good position to deliver and he equally did it the, mm -hmm. what, what is good about it is when you are in a good position to deliver and you do it so well, mm -hmm. do, people that w people who experience that will appreciate it. That like they will really appreciate it the way you did it for them. But those who will not get the, that kind of thing because mm -hmm. for them their request came at the time that uh, maybe 
you were not in a good position to deliver. They will, mm -hmm. they will also not be happy with you. Okay. Like the video that was, was circulating for me, it was really, really dis distasteful. The young kid, the, the photocopy. Yeah, yeah, photocopy. The yeah. small boy talking about hitting mm -hmm. somebody mm -hmm. for not featuring mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. okay. Am I coming? What is that? And you don't want the person to also tell you the truth as well. Like, I, 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 I can't even think about it. Look at this. Kwame Yudin has done a song for some people for free. In fact, he has done a whole song, listened to it, and then said, I think you, it, it will fit whatever you didn't take it. And we have heard people talking about it. Koku Flake is an example. And even the, the popular musician, Kachez, uh, own no dolly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So why will you come out because it didn't benefit you? You will come out and say things just to disgrace him or whatever, paint him black because you didn't get the benefit. Look at what is happening to Shatter and uh, Basket Mad. Basket Mad will always be happy about what happened mm -hmm. because he has benefited from Shatter's kind gesture. And it came at the time that Shatter was in his element to make it happen and he did it so beautifully for for him to appreciate it but i can bet you some people will not be happy with shata because they requested for something like this mm. shata either told them that no i'm not in a good position to do it for you or i can't deliver it now oh, and they were oh, he, uh, or he didn't even say okay. anything and they will never be happy with him mm -hmm. if you let like you 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 ask for people to share their experience with shatter the bad one the good one. you will get both you will get somebody like basket math saying good things about shatter and you get uh, somebody else maybe uh, i'll mention uh, Koku smoke uh -huh. who will also not be happy and say other side of shatter that that's how life is so i think we should take it like that but it's good that when you experience the good side you also come out and say it because mostly we only hear people who didn't get good experience. Mm -hmm. People who didn't get what they were looking for. Mm -hmm. Mostly they are the ones who come out and talk. And complain. Yeah. yeah, so if you get someone who also got the good side coming out to say some of this, mm -hmm. it's nice. And I it think. neutralizes yeah, opinions yeah, and, out there. Uh, yes, and mm -hmm. I think uh, Shata, he has done well and he should continue. Okay. When he's in his element and he can do it. He should give out his best so mm -hmm. that he will also get people like Basket Matt who will also say good things about him. Mm. Perfect, perfect. Yes. Ro, um, you can wrap up for us. This, this one, I would want to use Sir Cordier's word. Mm -hmm. Come back, use it, and come from the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to Basket Matt for how he feels. Mm -hmm. I am very happy for him. He's mm -hmm. gotten what he wanted. Mm -hmm. And the other guys who have, who have also requested the same thing. And they've not about, gotten it. Mm -hmm. And they've not gotten it. Sorry for how they feel. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because, I, yes, I, I want to say this is normal, but in, in technically it is not normal. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is, I always say the kind of energy that is always involved that pushes people to do some of these gestures are not ordinary. They are not easy. We may see it to be, oh, because probably it is in our face. People, people do stuff for people just like almost anyhow. We think it is, it is easy or it is normal. It takes lots of energy and lots of effort for you to do something for someone. And especially in that manner. So for Basket Mouth, I would just say congratulations to him. Mm -hmm. And big ups to Shatter for also doing something of that nature. This okay. is very huge. Mm. But then, this shouldn't also be a warrant for you to use it to disrespect somebody. Or call somebody certain or give somebody certain kind of tag. Because Shatter did not do this for you because... He was doing basket mouth, like not entirely because he was doing basket mouth. Yeah. Yes, that is also part. That may even be the intention, but the whole thing, now all round, is not entirely favor. Business is part. Feeling good is part. There are so many things that that contribute to whatever basket mouth is saying. Because for Shata to have done this to basket mouth, it means that he's looking at a bigger picture here, not only basket mouth. Mm -hmm. That is mostly the reason. That. I don't know, push your mouth for mom, yes, some of these things. It is not, I can help you in Kwanau, they send Kwanau and Kaudi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but it's, it, mm -hmm. it has a bigger picture to it. So if today, Basket Mouth has been able to get this kind of beneficial from Shatter, 
tomorrow if he hits Sakodie and Sakodie doesn't give him the same results, this is not a warrant for him to use it to go and insult Sakodie and say, oh, Shata, when I hit, uh, when I, the moment I hit Shata, no, 30 minutes, mm -hmm. he did it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that Sakodie is, is also in that particular state, ah, no, nah, Shata, the mm -hmm. to also deliver like that. Mm -hmm. okay. The fact that somebody has done you good doesn't mean that so, Okono be anyo, Papa, Nipa, 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 Boni, Nyanku, Pomi, Chianika. Nyanku, Pomi, Tio, Biaka, if the person is not capable of helping you, mm -hmm. God will not punish the person. Mm. If the person is not capable of helping you, God will not punish the person. Let's clear that mentality. If somebody is capable of helping you or doing you one solid, it's good. Hallelujah. Praise God. Be happy. Mm -hmm. That is why I'm happy for basketball. And I am happy for Shatawali for doing this. Because when the energy came, he was in his mm -hmm. element. He was capable at that time. And he did not relent back. He decided to do it. Mm -hmm. And that is why I am happy. Because if you come to the bank, you can say, 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 you see, it takes lots of energy. Yeah. Yes, as much as we see, we may see it to be normal. And you're normal, sir. There are so mm -hmm. many things that will block some of these chances. But Shata has gone his way to do some of these gestures. It is good. And I am happy Basket Mouth has come out to also say it. Mm -hmm. Because in, in this in this uh, space, eh, most people would say, oh, the, the media likes negativity. The people likes negativity and all that. It is when we actually encourage people to do some of these things, it neutralizes that perception. At least it gives people hope for them to know that, okay, whatever gesture or positive gesture they do, do not go down the drain. It is not in vain. If it, it is not a direct reciprocation, at least there would be something, some sort of benefit somewhere. Because for the person to even appreciate it with a smile, not crying, it's it's okay. It is what you maybe also ban on my mouth. I know Pam just said whatever you did for him, he didn't appreciate it. Mm. He really did, which is why he even talked about it. Mm. So congratulations to Basketball for how he feels. Those who have still up to date not gotten that particular side sorry for them they should try other places or maybe have patience mm. or even move on perhaps mm. it's mm. it will work mm. that is life you mm. understand some of these mm. things mm. i'm not sure you have headache over certain things mm. so big ups to shatter as well all right well so basket mouth is also in ghana for the easter comedy show which is uh, slated for i think 9th april here in ghana and i want to believe that you guys can be a part of it and he also said that he wants to have an annual show here in ghana and reason he wants to have the annual show here in ghana is one he thinks ghana gave him his biggest breakthrough in the comedy industry when he, when he made this joke um there are two things, things involved, involved. Yeah. you either do yeah. this or you do that yes yeah, according to he said that was his breakthrough when it comes to comedy and you see what ghana can do they only understand but you see he said it too he said he got his comedy breakthrough mm. here in Ghana. Mm. When he did that, yeah, there are two things involved. Yeah. But Ghana has proven to be a fertile land for most of our Nigerian brands. You oh, it is bring it on. Oh, bring it back. When you say, we have thousand and one examples. When you say, we have thousand and one examples. Boys, kid, mention them. Basket mouth. They were telling that even Jesus Christ can't do that. <laughs> this has been a fertile ground for them. We, we, we are using what Basket Mouth just said this morning. Uh, call Victor AD, you give his testimony. Yes, we have 1,001. So, yes, of course, once again, we are sure going to support him for him to get a bigger base here in Ghana. And big ups to uh, Basket Mouth will be there. Let me say thanks to Intim Dodi Solomon, a.k.a. Chamo. Thanks to Roland Amate, who is in the middle, as well as Kobe Josvan. And uh, to you for watching, we really appreciate your time spent with us remember you can also put down your comments be part of the reviews digital rasta is currency who is on camera and to which flex editor director of the show my name is sammy flex i'll see you in our next video remember remember to subscribe to us if you've not done that and to those who have subscribed to us you guys are great we love you any day see you later we out of here